Hello everyone, as promised, Richard Cracknell, he said he was going to come to the protest. Here he is, Richard. Hello, mate. Hello, how are you doing? Sun's out, I'm alright. <laughs> nice, feels like home. <laughs> yeah. But, but, listen, last time we were here, was chucking it down with rain. So yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's nice that we're not getting soaked. But the, the question I really want to ask you, Richard, is for quite a few months now, you've been voicing your discontent for things that are going on in the club, and today you've decided to come and join a protest. What, what has kind of triggered you to say, right, I, I need to go down there and, and make myself kind of, I want to get involved in the protest? Uh, I, I just reached a natural, personal uh, point with it, you know. It's built and it's built and it's built, and, you know, like any protest, that's just the way they naturally go, but people get to that point, so... You know, a good while ago, I started on like pods when I was appearing them last word and going on like, the boys' channel and that. Just saying, look, I want some change at Tottenham. Um, I want to change the culture. I want to see a bit more permanency around the stadium. I mean, the stand here now. I can't really see any Tottenham colour to the place. That's called the Tottenham experience. It's not the Tottenham Hotspur experience. So, um, you know, you've got digital balls that can uh, easily be changed. There's no statues. So straight away, it, it is home, but it doesn't look like home with any permanency, you know? Do you, do you, do you think part of the soul of the club has been taken away. Yeah, I, I do, and I think that's probably why I'm here more than anything. I think, you know, these we current owners, I think they spend decent money in a long way because they're not getting things right on a I don't think they know how to, and they're not getting us right. They don't get us. So, you know, this is why. But, you know, so I started off by asking them to reform. Then I started asking him for them to go because I don't think they've got reform in them. And I think it's just got to continue to get so bad. I thought, well, do you know what? The next thing to do is probably come down and stand amongst people. Look, talk enough about you guys on podcasts and last word, but never come down. So like, it's a bit disingenuous almost of me to speak about you guys without coming to meet everyone. But I've been here 15, 20 minutes now. I'm generally meeting big, like decent people. Spurs fans. Yeah, just yeah. Spurs fans, just people that want a bit of change, you know. I'm not meeting, you know, drunken lunatics or, or anything. It's just people that care about Tottenham Hotspur. And, 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 and what I would say to a lot of people if they're a bit unsure of coming to the protest, some of the most loyal diehard fans of the club who've been supporting this club 40, 50 odd years. Yeah. Just come and listen to their stories about Tottenham. It's, it's an educational in, its, in, in, in itself. So, Yeah, it's, uh, look, I mean, like I always, always say, it's like my mantra now, people will eventually get to the point and do what they're comfortable with. Actually, can I ask you on this? Yeah. What do you think it's going to take for more fans? fans to want to take some kind of action? I think you'd have to ask every individual fan that question. You, you, you really would. But I know this, if this continues the way it is continuing, then you'll get more people that are a little bit moderate and a little bit more and a little bit more tip over the edge. Now, whether that goes up to, right from people, well, look, I take our kids, I like to go every week. That's fine. But eventually, people will go, I oh, don't you know what, I'll go, but I'm not buying any food and drinking now. I'll go, but I'm not going to buy a shirt. I'm not giving them any money. Right up to, I'm not going anymore, but like, protesting is not for me. Through to people, no, do you know what? I'll go and stand and, and see if I can make a difference. So it will find its natural level. Until such times, if they start to get it right. Good luck with that. Good luck and, with and that. And the thing is, if they do get it right, yeah. we won't be here. Because that's all we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah exactly. The protest, the, the protest will end naturally because yeah. they're actually making the decisions where we can say, you know what, you actually care about the football team. Yeah, yeah, no, it's ex exactly that. It's uh, it'll get to you know if they get things right, start to show a bit of care about the heritage of the club. You know, start giving us a little bit of a match day experience with the peripherals that looks like Tottenham Hotspur permanently, rather than a few digital 
signs and that, then we'll start to buy back in a little bit. Just get the football right, get the heritage right, get the culture right, and then you don't get any of this. People have look, I don't expect to come and see us win every week. I've been coming 50 years, right? and I'm still coming now. That's not what you get with Tottenham Hotspur, but I expect to see everybody pulling in the same direction. At the moment, I'm seeing the people that own this club going in a direction that's led me to stand here today. Guys, Richard Crack, I just want to say a big thank you to you, man, for coming down. Right, Thanks for doing the interview as well. If you want to join the protest and peacefully come and say your thing as well, come and join us opposite the club shop on a match day. Come on, you Spurs.